Hello, my dear wonderful learners, all out here. A warm welcome to Dr. Rina's physiology, right? So let's have an MCQ punch. And the topic today, which we are going to discuss on MCQ, will be a topic which is very at times been a very very favorite topic, right? In our NEET PG MCQs also. So I have taken a MCQ from Rina Physiology. Now the question says, this is on this image base that it is a systometrogram that shows that the patient had a normal control of maturation. Which phase of the systometrogram would have been mostly altered in the case there is an obstructive bladder? Options would be A, B, C or D. So which phase would be obstructed if uh, altered if the patient has got an overactive bladder? Uh, this is the recording of a normal systometrogram. So the answer is B, that is the plateau phase. So first we'll just look on to the explanation of this MCQ before I teach you what is systometrogram. Now, in a person with a normal control of maturation, point A represents the empty bladder, okay, and with a pressure of approximately zero. So if you consider that uh, this systometrogram, you must remember that this is a graphical representation. Okay, it is a graphical representation of the pressure volume changes in the bladder where the x axis is volume and the y axis is intravesical pressure. Whenever there is a graph uh, based question in physiology, the first thing that we must always look upon is what is at the x axis and what is at the y axis. Right now, you can see that uh, with initial filling of bladder with urine, right, when there is less volume of blood, there is a small abrupt rise in the pressure. So, you have a small abrupt rise in the pressure will be there. However, if you keep on accumulating more and more of the volume, you will see that there is no further increase in the pressure. This plateau, which is the segment B, right? I hope you are able to appreciate it nicely. This segment B, which is a plateau. Okay, I'll explain you what is the plateau. And finally, again, the maturation reflex is set up when the volume is around 400 ml right so let us understand something more about systometrogram right so this is nothing but it is the it is a pressure volume relationship so when small amount of urine is accumulated there is a small pressure around 5 to 10 centimeters of water right but after that Right? After that, we have seen that even if you keep on increasing the volume, you are getting a plateau and ultimately again there is setup of the maturation reflex. So this is volume and this is pressure. The first point to remember that when there is accumulation of around 150 ml of urine, there is first urge to maturate okay first urge to maturation yes i want to go to bladder uh, to evacuate my bladder however you can accommodate because of the special property of the smooth muscles that is plasticity but when the urine accumulation will be 400 that is a time when there is a sensation wherein there is a fullness of bladder and there will be elicitation of the maturation reflex so if a question comes on this value so this will be 400 ml right and as the volume increases increases and increases the pressure does not rise as it follows the Laplace law. So this plateau is representation of the law of Laplace, right? It is representation of the law of Laplace. This comes as an MCQ. So what happens or what is this law of Laplace? So you can remember it very easily. T is equal to P into R or you can say that P is equal to T by R where T is the tension r is the radius and p is going to be the distending pressure that means if you either decrease the pressure 
right or if you increase the tension the pressure is going to rise but what happens with bladder bladder which is having smooth muscle right it is having smooth muscle which is nothing but the detrusor muscle and the smooth muscle it shows a very distinctive characteristic uh, length tension relationship which is also called as the smooth muscle plasticity now uh, the smooth muscles they do not have a very horizontally aligned sarcomere arrangement which is present in the striated muscles moreover in the smooth muscles you will see that the actin is about 10 times more than myosin right so the actin is to myosin ratio is different in the striated and the non striated muscles actin is about 10 to 12 times more as compared to myosin so myosin in whatever direction you know that they are spindle shaped and these are the dense bodies and this is your myosin this is your actin and myosin so this is my myosin and this is actin and instead of the z lines you have got the dense bodies so whatever is the alignment of the myosin myosin will always have actin to interdigitate so even they can develop active tension at whatever length so they may develop active tension at a smaller length or they may develop active tension at even a uh, i mean a larger length which is not a property of striated muscle where Uh, 2 to 2.5 microns is the uh, you know optimum length of the sarcomere which will develop optimum tension as far as the striated muscle is concerned so the smooth muscles they exhibit plasticity that means they show a phenomenon which is also called as receptive relaxation which is not only seen in the detrusor muscle but it is also seen in the stomach where accommodation results in relaxation but not increase in the pressure so t is equal to p into r let us simplify now as the volume increases what happens the radius increases so what is the smooth muscle doing it is increasing the radius it is increasing the tension so that the p remains constant that means the distending pressure does not increase despite of increase in the volume so this is receptive relaxation following the laplace law as far as this is concerned now what happens if you look at the systometrogram up till small volume of urine an abrupt rise in the pressure but then the pressure does not rise and can accommodate large amount of volume as uh, shown by the law of laplace but again at 400 you will see that there is increase in the pressure this increase in the pressure is now also because of the active contraction of the detrusor muscles and you will even see side maturation waves which are given and this will be the onset of the maturation reflex as far as maturation reflex is concerned remember one very important thing that this is a reflex which has got integrating center spinal cord so we've seen that the stretch reflexes they have got integrating center spinal cord but the defecation reflex and the maturation reflex they are two important uh, visceral reflexes who have got integration center spinal cord although they will have control from the higher centers right so now let's look on Uh, as we've already seen that the further distension of the bladder will cause a rise in the pressure initiate the maturation reflex right now overactive bladder is a condition that is characterized by a sudden involuntary contraction of the detrusor muscle in the wall of the urinary bladder which is going to result in a sudden and unstoppable need and you will have to maturate so this can occur at any point in the b phase right so the b phase is the point which is an indication of an overactive bladder i hope the topic is crystal clear to you because as far as systometrogram is concerned it is very important a graphical question which comes in neat pg fmg as well as in first prof we give you as a graph uh, the saved pdf of this will be available in my telegram group right many times i have shared the link of the telegram group so you can get acquainted to it so i'm looking forward to more and views from your side please subscribe like share and give your comments like what more you want from me so this is all for today thank you and have a happy learning